Hi everyone. In this video, I will cover how Relays and their programming works with Vista commercial panels such as the Vista 128 BPT and Vista 128 FBPT. You will need an alpha keypad such as the 6160 or the Compass programming software to program your Relay. To start, let's take a look at the different panel and Relay types. On Firebird combos like the Vista 128 FBPT, and non-Firebird combos like the Vista 128 BPT, you can use a 4204 Relay or the 4101 SN. For the purposes of this video, we will use a 4204 Relay. This device can be used on any device address 01 to 30. Using the cut sheet, find the address you need on the top row of numbers. Then, using the column, set your dip switches based on the dip number from the far left column. Next, determine how you will need to wire the relay. When the relay is activated, it will change state, interrupting or completing one leg of your wire run. Normally open and common will generally be used for devices that need power applied based on an action. Normally closed and common will generally be used for devices that need power removed based on an action. The relays are dry contacts, which means they don't supply any voltage of their own. Now that we know how to address and wire a relay, we can begin programming. Once in panel programming, enter field 93. This is a menu mode. All selections have their own submenu and have a corresponding worksheet in the panel's programming guide. The first question will ask, zone programming, yes or no? Press zero for no until you reach device programming. Press one for yes. Enter the address number you set the dip switches for on your 4204, then press star. Enter device type 04 for output relay module, then press star. Enter device address 00 star to quit this menu, but when asked quit menu mode, yes or no, press zero for no. The panel now knows that it has a relay or relays connected, but it doesn't know how they will be activated. For this programming, continue to press 0 for no until you reach output programming. Press 1 for yes. The first question will ask for the relay number. This is simply a line of programming for a single relay. Multiple output functions can be programmed for the same relay if needed. For your first relay, enter in 01, then press star. The summary screen will show if there is already something programmed here. If everything is listed as zero on the bottom row, then this relay is clear for use. Press star to move forward. Next, choose the action of the relay. The most common will be a one for close for two seconds and a two for stay closed. Keep in mind that if your relay is wired normally closed and common, the stay closed action will still change state of the relay and switch from the normally closed state to an open state. Press star. The start event will only be used if the relay will be activating on a specific zone number or a zone list. The available events are alarm, fault, or trouble. If you are using a zone type to activate the relay, press star to skip this prompt. The next three prompts will allow us to select our start zone list, start zone number, or start zone type. For a zone number, simply enter in the three digit zone number. For zone list, enter the two-digit zone list, and for zone type, enter the two-digit zone type that can be referenced from this list, such as zone type 33, which is any burg alarm, and zone type 39, which is any fire alarm. You can have your start action be any combination of zone list, zone number, and zone type. Press star to move forward once you've made your selection. Enter the partition that this action needs to originate from, then press star. If the relay was programmed to start on a zone number and the condition is met while the panel is disarmed, the relay will restore when the zone is restored. If the panel is armed when the condition is met, then the relay will not change state until a code in off is entered. If you activated the relay with a zone list or zone type, choose the corresponding action to change the relay back to its original state. It can be on the restore of a zone within a specific zone list, or a zone type, such as zone type 36, which is bell timeout or code and off, whichever happens first. Press star. Enter the partition that this stop action needs to originate from, 
then press star. If you attached your relay to a schedule, enter the group number, then press star. Next, choose if you want to restrict the relay from being activated by keypad commands, then press star. Choose your relay type, either zero for VPlex, such as the 4101SN, or one for ECP, such as the 4204. Press star. If your relay is the 4101SN, enter the zone number that this module was programmed to. If your relay is the 4204, enter the device number you addressed it to, then press star. Also, if your relay is the 4204, after entering the address, you will be asked to enter the module relay number. This is the position of the relay, one through four, on the 4204. Verify your programming on the summary screen, then press star. You can now program more relay numbers or exit programming. Before we finish this video, I want to cover using a relay for smoke reset. This is a common use for relays when you need to drop power to a four wire smoke detector so that it can reset after an alarm. Let's take a look at the wiring for a smoke reset. You will have two terminals on the smoke detector that go to a zone on the panel. The other two terminals are for power. Connect the negative from your smoke to the negative of your power source. Next, connect the positive of your smoke to the common terminal of the relay. Lastly, connect the positive of your power source to normally closed of your relay. The circuit will be complete and your smoke will have power. To program a relay for smoke reset, enable your relay in field 93, device programming, then go to output programming, which is also in field 93. Choose your relay number, then press star. Verify this line of programming is available by the summary screen, then press star. Set your relay action for two, stay closed, then press star. Leave start event blank, press star. Leave start zone list and zone number blank, pressing star to move forward. Set your start zone type for 54, fire zone reset, then press star. Enter the partition number of your smoke detector, then press star. Leave stop zone list blank, press star. Set the stop zone type for 57 YY seconds. We will program this in field 1 star 75 in a few moments. Press star. Enter the partition number of your smoke detector where you will be clearing the alarm from, then press star. If you attached your relay to a schedule, enter the group number, then press star. Next, choose if you want to restrict the relay from being activated by keypad commands, then press star. Choose your relay type, either zero for VPlex, such as the 4101SN, or one for ECP, such as the 4204. Press star. If your relay is the 4101SN, enter the zone number that this module was programmed to. If your relay is the 4204, enter the device number you addressed it to, then press star. Also, if your relay is the 4204, after entering the address, you will be asked to enter the module relay number. This is the position of the relay, one through four, on the 4204. Verify your programming on the summary screen, then press star. Now, we need to program our YY seconds in field one star 75. Next time it asks you to enter a relay number, press 00 star to quit. The keypad will prompt with some questions regarding zone lists. Keep saying no or 00 star to quit until the keypad asks quit menu mode yes or no. Press one for yes. Back in standard programming, enter star 94. This will take you to the 100s, which is the next level of programming. Enter star 75. For YY seconds, enter 008. After the confirmation ding, you can enter star 99 twice to exit programming all the way. That's all there is to programming a smoke detector reset. When your fire zones are in alarm, entering your code and off twice will cause the relay to open, momentarily breaking power for 8 seconds, then restoring power to your smoke detector. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.